every yearling sold at the Karaka Yearling Sales, purchasers have the opportunity to have the horse undergo an endoscopic examination to determine the presence of certain conditions. I spoke to Matamata veterinarian Andrea Richmeister about what the examination involves. Andrea, in 1995, New Zealand Bloodstock introduced scoping or endoscopic examinations of yearlings at the sales following the purchasing of them through the ring. First of all, tell us what is scoping and why is it used? Um, using the endoscope, basically we're putting a, a very small, long camera up the horse's nose so that we can look at all the structures in the throat. Um, and it gives us an idea of how they're formed and whether they have any congenital abnormalities that might affect them being able to function as a racehorse. And what are some of the most common abnormalities you find? Um, there are a number of conditions that we look for. Probably the most common thing we look for is a condition called hemiplegia, which is where one or the other side of the throat is not functioning properly. Um, it's a partial paralysis of the muscles that open the, um, the entrance to the windpipe. So if there is a partial paralysis and the horse is unable to fully open its windpipe, then when it's running, it obviously isn't going to get enough oxygen and that's a, a condition that um, will certainly affect performance. Um, we also look for a condition called chondritis where they have inflammation of the cartilages and they get swollen. Um, they can at times even develop um, lumps of granulation tissue like proud flesh, which will be coming off of the cartilages and blocking the airway. Um, and obviously that's going to affect the horse's ability to breathe. Um, we look for displaced palates, soft palates, which is uncommon but occasionally seen. Um, entrapped epiglottis, where you get tissue wrapping itself around the epiglottic cartilage and um, again uh, interfering with the horse's um, function of the throat. Um, we also look for cleft palate um, and a condition called rostral displacement of the palatal pharyngeal arch which is a congenital malformation of the throat. The horses are born with that abnormality and they um, typically don't perform well as racehorses. So those are the sort of structural abnormalities that we look for um, in, the, in the horses post sale, um, just to rule out um, the chance of a purchaser buying a horse that's got a problem that's going to stop it being a functional racehorse. So Andrea, what's the process of a stationary scoping and how do you read one? Um, Scoping at rest basically means just that, is that we take the horse and we put the scope up its nose and we look at how it is functioning without exercise. So we can, we do do several things to make the horse uh, swallow and take, uh, or to make the horse take bigger breaths and one of the things we do is make them swallow because typically after a horse swallows the next breath will be quite a big one so it, it gives us a chance to assess function even though the horse is not exercising. The other thing that we do is we will occlude their nostrils and stress them a little bit and when they start to run out of oxygen again they will often try to you know take bigger breaths and so we can assess the function of the cartilages even though the horse is not exercising. However it is limited because there are certain conditions that only show up when the horse is working. Um, it certainly allows us to look at a lot of the structural components of the throat and pick up um, certain conditions which are developmental in origin. So, um, you know, it, it, it is, it's very useful, but it is limited in some ways. You use a system called the lane system where horses are graded, grade one being perfect, through to grade five, which is paralysis. What grade are the majority of yearlings you see making? Um, the majority of yearlings at the sale will be a grade one. By far the majority of the horses are completely normal. Um, but the ones that, that have beginning to show problems will come in for me to, to video scope and we will then grade them. Um, the ones, most of the horses that we see would be a grade three where they are a little bit asymmetric but they still have full function at this stage. Very occasionally, about 1% of yearlings um, that we see will be a grade four, which is where they have lost sufficient function that they're no longer able to, to fully open their airway and those horses would fail the scope. So Andrea, how does the process work of the scoping of a horse post sale? Basically, the purchaser um, notifies the auctioneer whether they want the horse scoped or not, and most people do. So what happens then is the horse will go back to its box and we have um, a, a, a number of um, auctioneer approved veterinarians 
going around the boxes um, doing the scoping and they will look at each individual horse and they will then uh, assess that horse for the conditions that we talked about that we look for. Um, now if that horse has any one of those conditions it, it'll get sent up for a video scope and a panel of three veterinarians including myself will look at that horse and we will assess its function. Now if we deem that that horse fails the conditions of sale by having one of these conditions that is listed um, we will notify the auctioneer that the horse has failed and then they will go ahead and they will notify the purchaser. The purchaser then has the right to back out of that sale. They don't have to take the horse. They still can if they want, but they don't have to. Um, and if they back out, obviously the horse will go back to the vendor. What percentage of sales are you seeing follow that path? Um, when we looked at large number of horses over a large number of sales, is we fail about 1.5% of horses. Okay, so. Uh, typical yearling sale they might have 1400 horses sold so you're looking at uh, about somewhere between 15 and 20 horses is usually the number that will fail on the day. Uh, probably about half of those are inflammatory conditions which, are, which we deem are, are readily treatable um, and we do certainly try and broker the delayed sales for those just to, basically so that the vendor still gets their sale and the purchaser still gets their horse. So. That's, that's the way the system works. So when you're looking at total numbers, the number of horses that fail and are deemed to have a serious problem that can't be readily fixed is actually very small.